Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexander Draws, and I have not posted in months. The last time I posted was during February, a monthly art challenge where you draw a fairy every day in February. And February was a long time ago, and now it is May, and I'm doing Mermaid, a monthly art challenge where you draw a mermaid every day in May. And unlike February, I'm actually gonna stick with it and I'm gonna do it every single day and I'm gonna bring you guys along the way. So before I start the actual topic of the video, I just wanna say sorry for not posting for months, and hopefully I can stick with it because now we're in quarantine and I have nothing better to do, and I have this new motivation, this new fire within me, so hopefully I will get back on my schedule, and that is on Sundays and Wednesdays, so like, comment, subscribe, share. And thank you to everyone who didn't unsubscribe from me during my three month hiatus, it means a lot to me. So now let's get into the main topic of the video. So yes, I was canceled five times on TikTok. So the first time I got canceled was actually pretty early on in my TikTok career. It was on my first viral video, I guess you could say. It got around 53K likes. And in the video, I was at Starbucks and I threw away some trash I found on the ground and I put it in the trash and not the recycling. And people were very upset at me for that. And also in the video, there was another piece of trash on the ground that I didn't see and I didn't pick that piece of trash up because I didn't see it. And people were like, oh, he just, he probably put that there himself and he didn't grab the other piece of trash and he put it in the wrong thing. He just hurt the earth. And everyone was attacking me in the comments. So that was, I guess, the first time I got canceled. I wouldn't even really call that time being canceled because people didn't really know the full situation and assumed I had malicious intent when in reality I did find that trash on the ground and the recycling was full so I couldn't put it in there and the trash was the only place for me to put it. So I was trying to do good and people would hate on you for anything and it was my first viral video and I wasn't really used to getting hate so that was my first. Moving on to the second time I got canceled, I made a video and in the video I was bringing light to the fact that the big TikTokers who don't do anything get tons of likes and the talented people who put in tons of work don't get the recognition they deserve. And people were saying I was fishing for likes and I was really just trying to bring awareness to this issue um, on the TikTok platform. I actually ended up deleting that TikTok at 1.6 million likes because I got so much hate on it. But obviously a lot of people agreed with me because I got so many likes. And I guess I was a little bit at fault there because the delivery came across as more aggressive and like I was fed up rather than me trying to create an understanding of an issue that was going on. And I guess people felt attacked when they watched it instead of feeling like I was just trying to get something across. So the third time I was canceled was when I drew Lovely Peaches. If you don't know who she is, you should look her up. Actually, maybe you shouldn't. I don't know. Um, look her up at your own risk. But basically, I'm a fan of her. Fans of her are called Peachlings. And I did some fan art of Lovely Peaches, as one does when they stand someone. And people were very mad because they didn't really agree with Peaches and I guess what she stands for and what she does. So people were very mad at me for standing her and drawing her. So a lot of people unfollowed me, left me in comments. The whole 900 canceled me. So that was the short third time I got canceled. The fourth time I got canceled, I would say is the biggest time I got canceled other than the second time I got canceled. And the reason why I got canceled the fourth time was because I made a video about Zoe LaVarn. If you do not know who Miss Zoe LaVarn is, she's a TikToker who got her start on Musical.ly. She does the TikTok dances that everyone else does, but she has a ton of hype for it. She said the N-word and cheated on her boyfriend, Cody. In the video I made about her, I said, Someone asked me to draw Zoe LaVarne, but I butchered her name. And then I proceeded to draw her as trash because saying the N-word and cheating is not a mistake, it's a choice. And words are important and I think it shows a lot about her. Obviously her fans were not happy with me. Fans of Zoe are called Zonuts and they were attacking me on all platforms. They found my secret private TikTok account that only has like 50 followers. They also duetted my video and made responses bashing me. So that was the fourth time I got canceled. And before I move on to the fifth time, I just want to point out that when Zoe cheated and when she said the N word, they still stand her. They didn't unfollow her. They loved her. They supported her. But when I called her out for it, they were quick to attack me, duet me, find all my accounts, tear me down and cancel me. They canceled me. So I just want them to keep the same energy with me and Zoe. So if you're gonna let Zoe get away with all that stuff, then you can let me get away with this, even though I'm not getting away with anything and I don't think I'm 
at fault at all. So the fifth and final time I was canceled, basically in North Korea, there's Kim Jong-un, he's the dictator there, and he has a sister named Kim Yo-jong, and there was a bunch of media sources going around saying that he died in some surgery or whatever, and that Kim Yo-jong, his sister, was going to be taking over. In response to this, Stan Twitter immediately stan Kim Yo Jong. People started doing fan art of her, worshiping her, making edits of her as a joke. And so as a joke on my TikTok account, I made a video drawing her being like, I stan Kim Yo Jong. And people were so pissed off at me, which this time is honestly fair because they may have not got the joke and it was a pretty new thing. So I can't really blame them. But yeah, that was the fifth time I was canceled. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Mermaid Day 1. If you want to go see the rest of my mermaid drawings, check out my Instagram. My Instagram is Drawings by Alexander. All my info is in my bio. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and be here for Wednesday's video. Love you guys. Bye. Also, before I go, even though I just said bye, I hope you guys are doing well with Corona. And if you do do Mermaid 2 and you want me to see your drawings, you can send them to me on Instagram and I will love to look at them. You guys are amazing and I love to see your art. So this time, bye for real. Thank you guys for watching.